Hello everyone and welcome to Auto Moho's YouTube channel. In this episode, we'll be covering the newest Spider member of the Porsche lineup, the newest 2016 Porsche Boxster Spider, which featured the most powerful engine and low weight of all time. That makes it the fastest and most dynamic Boxster Spider in history. The new Boxster Spider is a radical return to the origin of the Roadster, only have two seats, but with very high performance. It doesn't need more room for any distraction. The new Boxster Spider is also the original interpretation of a legend that began life in the 50s with the 550 Spider and continued into the 60s with the 718 OSK on the racetrack of Korsk, described to this day as an extremely agile with consistently lightweight construction. Taken to the limit in a mid-engine sports car with 375 horsepower and a 3.8 liter engine more power than ever before in the Boxster and you can feel exactly what that means when driving down the highway especially with the sexy exhaust sound it offers. Now let's talk a little bit about the new Roadster top. The new Boxster Spider cuts a dynamic figure even when it's close with side contours flowing seamlessly into the streamliners on the rear lid. The Roadster top runs back into two taut fins and when compared to the previous model, it has become much more practical for everyday use and it can be driven at top speed with few constraints. It unlocks electronically and the lightweight roadster top can easily be stowed away by hand beneath the rear lid without restricting the luggage compartment. Up front, the new Boxster Spider are equipped as standard with black bar xenon headlights, including a headlight cleaning system and dynamic range controlled for an even illumination of the road ahead and also the Porsche dynamic light system the dynamic cornering light function swivel the main headlight toward the inside of a bend for better visibility at the bottom is the pair of LED daytime running light and there's the large imposing air intakes that feed vital air into the engine and here's the grill as well as the Porsche logo on the hood intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed are also a standard feature there you can see the cornering light and this particular model comes standard with the 20 inch Boxster Spider alloy wheels with 235-35 performance tires. Behind the wheel is the large ventilated cross drill brake disc and a huge 6 piston aluminum monoblock fixed brake caliber painted in red for faster stopping. Here is the side view mirror. Very cool looking design. And here is the power black top that can be opened or closed with a touch of a button. A very aerodynamic side for air to pass through from the engine. And there you have the spider badge. Rear wheels are stacked in width with 265-35 performance tires. Behind the wheel is also the large ventilated cross drill brake disc and the large 4 piston aluminum monoblock fixed brake caliber painted in red for the rear with Porsche lettering on it as well. It also features McPherson stretch suspension with anti-roll bar for the front and LSA motor link rear suspension with anti-bar for the rear. Porsche stability management with anti-lock braking system, anti-slip regulation, automatic brake differential, MSR pre-fueling of the brake system as well as brake assist. Okay, now looking at the back, you quickly notice the strikingly designed LED tail lamp. Integrated into the tail light is the LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate quicker and brighter than traditional incandescent light bulbs to help alert driver behind quicker and help prevent possible accident. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust with dual sound mode. And there is the third LED brake light right under the uh, retractable spoiler. And the Porsche Spider lettering uh, are also painted in black. And there you can see the rear view camera right above the license plate. And you also have the fourth LED brake light right there. Very aggressive rear end. Okay, so here I have the remote. Very cool looking remote with panic button on the back. On the remote, I have the unlock, lock, hood, and trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the exterior color is known as GT Silver Metallic. I really like the silver color somehow. 
I don't know if I was to get a car I'm gonna get a silver color as well and there you can see the frameless uh, window beautiful interior as you can see so the interior features red leather interior and Alcantara as well as silver aluminum accenting trims all around very sporty looking interior now let's jump into the driver's seat start it up and see how it sounds okay so since this is a uh, manual transmission make sure you have your foot on the clutch insert the key to the left hand side and turn it to start and I am going to put this straight into super sport mode so you can hear how sexy the exhaust note is Now let's pop the hood and the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So the trunk in the uh, new Boxster Spider is located in the front as always and it does look like it offer a pretty uh, decent amount of cargo space for a small car like this. Now let's shut it down and uh, talk a little bit about the performance of this new Boxster Spider. So the 2016 Porsche Boxster Spider feature a mid-engine which comes with a 3.8 liter flat 6 aluminum engine with aluminum uh, engine block and cylinder heads, direct fuel injection, 6-speed manual transmission with dual mass flywheel hole functions. It is pushing out 375 horsepower and 309 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 4.3 seconds. Top track speed is electronically limited at 180 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 18 city, 24 highway, and 20 combined. That is very impressive for the new Boxster Spider. And here's the driver's side door panel. It comes with a red leather on the top portion and Alcantara at the bottom. Both windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror controlled. And you just pull that to open the door. Beautiful silver aluminum trims on it as well. And there's the door seal and the sport pedal. Now let's take a closer look at the seat. Beautiful seat with our Alcantara in the middle and red leather and spider littering uh, also embossed on the uh, headrest very sporty looking seat so both front seats feature adaptive uh, sport seat plus with 18-way power adjustment including 4-way power lumbar support with 2 preset memory for driver seat, steering wheel and outside mirror the 3-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with silver aluminum trims in the middle looks and feel very sporty. Behind the steering wheel on the left you have the turn signal light controlled and to the right you have the windshield wiper controlled. And steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. There you have the cruise control. And at the bottom to the right of the uh, steering wheel you have the lever to control the uh, menus on the instrument cluster which you can move it up, down, toward you or you can also push it to the back to uh, go through the menu of the uh, instrument cluster which is very convenient over to the left you have the light controlled beautiful accenting trim there and there's the driver side air vent with beautiful silver aluminum trims around it and uh, another look at the instrument cluster and a look to the dash 
beautiful dash. Now this new box to Spyro comes standard with the uh, Bolt Surround sound system which is fitted as standard and is perfectly tuned to the specific interior acoustic of the box to Spyro. However, this model comes upgraded with the high-end Burmester surround sound system that costs an extra $6,730. I believe with that, just that number you'll get a very special sounding experience. Now looking at the dash, in the middle you see beautiful leather and a round analog clock with the lock button and emergency has a light on top of the clock. And side by side you have the dual side event. Under the uh, event, you have the touchscreen multimedia display. It is very responsive as you can see. And you can also use the button under the screen to uh, navigate through the screen. There you also have your different sources. And the two round knob located at the bottom, one on the left is for the volume button. And one on the right is for you to press down to select or you can scroll it to the right or to the left to zoom in and out of the uh, navigation which is very simple to use and here you have your dual climate control for the front passenger here is the gearbox it feels very nice in your hand and it is wrapped in black leather so if you want to put it into reverse you have to put your foot down onto the uh, clutch and make sure you deactivate the parking brake first before the uh, rear view camera will appear on the multimeter screen. If not, it's not going to go into reverse. So as you can see, you also have the uh, guidance line to guide you through your backup. And you know, it's very straightforward, very easy to use. Down here you see the uh, silver aluminum spider badge. And there in the middle you also have the uh, two buttons to open and close your convertible top. And to the left you have your Sport, Sport Plus and Traction on and off. And to the right is your exhaust button and the retractable uh, rear spoiler. There you have the uh, ashtray and cigarette lighter. And here is the uh, center glove box compartment. The lever to open is on the uh, right hand side and inside you have the 12 volt power plug okay located on the dash you have the two cup holders all you have to do is push it in and push each cup holder in to uh, release it and then push it back in to close it very simple all right I'm having a hard time closing it now okay here's the uh, glove box compartment and inside you also find the uh, auxiliary input, USB plug, as well as the 12 volt power plug. And here is a closer look at the seat once again. Very sporty looking seat. There you have the Burmester surround sound speaker. Okay, and to fold down the seat, just simply fold, uh, lift up that lever right there, and you can push it up to get access to, uh, to behind the seat. There you have the sun visor mirror with a card holder. And on top you have the uh, universal 3 button, universal garage door opener, light button. and the rear view mirror once again I really love the uh, red leather interior as well as the red and Alcantara seat makes the cabin looks very sporty overall the new 2016 Porsche Boxster Spider is a very sexy sport car that offer performance, style, and luxury all in one package. With sitting for two passenger, the front offer enough room for any size adult to be comfortable. And it does offer great upholstery material as well as nicely aluminum trims throughout. And like I mentioned before, front passenger seats are very spacious and it is very low in the front passenger seat. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2016 Porsche Box to Sparta video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. 
I'll see you guys next time. Okay, and this is just a bonus feature. I'm just gonna show you how the car backing up. And as you can see, the uh, there's a guidance line to help you guys uh, do your backup. And it makes it a lot easier. And I have to be honest that uh, sitting in the driver's seat is very low. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be a fun car to drive thanks to that uh, six-speed manual transmission.